What is tripping my peeps? Call me peeps here back for episode 3 of our Ocarina of Time Reverse Dungeon Order Peeps Plays. We'll go ahead and jump right into it. Last time we just did some more prep. This should hopefully... Keyword is hopefully be the last prep video. But we will see. I'm not very good at back walking over here to this, uh, this wooden shop. I'm also not very fast at doing... I always... I always fall for that. There's a... If you do it right, just like that. That was pretty good. I need to move more right when I do that. But you can back hop. And because the lady talks to you... We actually don't need the five rupees there. Because she talks to you. If you backflip right like I did the last time. Then you can get closer to the door while the text goes by. It's just, you know, a second or two faster. It's nothing real. And in speedrunning, all these seconds really count. But for just casual play like we're doing... Not really casual, but... For something that you're not speedrunning, then it really does not matter all too much. But you know, it's just cool little cool little time savers that if you can get them down, then you know, it's it's pretty good. Now, we're going to be escaping the forest the second way here. And I do not prefer this way at all. Escaping the forest this way always gives me trouble. You want to take, you want to get rid of that sign, that's the first thing. Now what we're going to do here is a glitch called ING. Well, you know what, never mind, never mind. It, ING does, or not, it's not ING, it's ISG. ISG doesn't apply to this glitch. It's, uh... ISG doesn't apply to this glitch. You'll see the camera go wonky. So, there's a couple ways to do it. The way that I do it, the way I've taught, is you just back into the corner here. Then you kind of look this way. I don't know any specific camera angles. You just kind of tilt link this way and then you hit the wall spam a and eventually you should hopefully glitch through him that's not going to do it but that's basically what you want and then instead of getting pushed forward you'll get pushed back i don't know the exact angle it's uh something i really need to look at again at least i'm getting close but i've seen some people just run up slash this wall and then you know, do it like this way. I don't know the fast way to do it, you know. I can barely even do it this way. If you didn't want to escape this way, you can also escape the Navi dive way and then walk all the way through Hyrule back here. And I believe if you enter from the other side, you can still activate the cutscene and get the Fairy Ocarina. So if this gives you too much trouble, then you can just do it that way. Which, this always gives me trouble. It really does. I should also mention that... Navi... If you screw up the Navi dive, you're better off just resetting your game. Because I think Navi only shows up like every 17 minutes. To give you hints like that. Uh, you see, that one was pretty good. But for some reason... Like, we were behind him, but it pushed us forward. Like, this is very finicky sometimes. It's, uh... You know, it, it does kind of suck to do it this way. I just recommend if you can't get this down just walk around i think walking around works i can't confirm it but pretty sure it works that way so while we're doing this i'll just uh find something else to talk about final fantasy uncovered event is going to be happening here in about an hour and a half so i'm excited for that supposedly we're gonna get an official release date for final fantasy 15 which the leaked release date is september 30th and I could see that being the release date, but until you get official confirmation, I'd never believe any rumors. It's probably most likely true, because it leaked so close to this event, but, you know, you never know. Yeah, I, like, escaping this way really does suck. I really should do some more research into how to do this better, because I honestly have no idea. I just go over here and mess with a bunch of different angles until it goes. And I would prefer to not spend... I don't want to have to edit this out, but I might have to edit out some attempts here until we finally get successful one. Because I, wa I want to show it off, you know? I could just go escape the other way, but I'd like to at least show it off. Oh, boy. You can also leave this way the first time if you want. You don't have to ever use Navi diving. It's just a little bit more convenient on where it places you. And... You know, the fact that you don't need the shield for it, and you can just get the rupees along the way instead of collecting them all here. 
Man, I really do, like, this is probably my least favorite glitch in this entire game. And it's not, like, it's not even that, that really that it's that hard. It's just that I suck at it. Like, maybe if I went and actually learned and studied positioning and stuff. I, like, I just don't know. I just know you back into this corner. And it's something like, I don't know. I don't think this is the angle. No, I think that was too far left. Try something like... I don't know, that? That looks too far. Oh, that might actually... Oh, come on. You can see why I hate this glitch. You'll get there, but it won't put you there. Like... We were behind him, but it still pushed us forward for some reason. I wonder if not tilting the stick. I wonder if just trying to position and then not tilting the analog stick is going to be better for us. I don't know. I really... Oh, come on. This is it. Oh, I was going to say, don't you do this. Now, there's two ways to do this. I've seen some people... You'd want to be careful. You can run past him. I drop him off the cliff like that. Some people will bring him out this way, and then they'll just roll past him. I don't like trying to roll past him, because you'll end up talking to him. If you mess up, then you'll go out, and if you go out of his boundaries, then he will block you and you have to do it again so I just like to kind of try and sit there that was pretty good but sometimes he can be finicky so just walk real slow and try and drop him off the edge there you know you can clip him off the edge he'll still be there if we were to go back in he'd still be there blocking the door so that doesn't get rid of him forever so but we the only reason to escape this way is for the ocarina if we and I guess we technically don't even need to get the ocarina there's a glitch that lets you play songs without the ocarina, and I'll show it off, um, but not now. I'll show it off sometime later. But actually, when we go back to Kakariko, that'd actually be a perfect time to show it off, just because the thing we need to do it is there. But actually, I think that's where we're headed next is Kakariko. I think Kakariko's our final stop. No, we still have to go get the bottle, Lonlon. So if we get over to Kakariko and it's daytime, we'll go to Lon Lon. If it's nighttime, we'll just head in, right into Kakariko, get the gold school told us, and all that fun stuff. But I guess, essentially, you don't need to exit the forest this way. It's just having the arena is convenient. More so because the glitch requires you to... Basically, you lose one of your bottles. You don't lose it, but, like, you can't hold it. You have to use a bottle with something in it. So that takes away from a, a fairy spot that you get. Since I do three hearts and go for no game overs, I like to have all three bottles for the fairies. So... Now I'm going to try something here. I've never been successful in it. I've been somewhat successful. But apparently, if you back... Boy, I already screwed up. I don't know if you need ISG or something. You might need ISG, but... I, I don't know exactly how it works, but if you can get a good rhythm pulling out the stick in your sword, then you can actually slide right by the owl here. I don't know if you need ISG, or if you need to be super sliding or something. I don't know the exact thing, but I know you can do it. I think you can just do it this way, because I'm pretty sure one time I got pretty close. I think one time I got like over here before I messed up the rhythm. It looks... Mm, I can't tell if it, no, yeah, it's it's definitely gonna be nighttime when we get over there. So we'll go to Kakariko first. Look at that, we have 64 rupees. The game originated on the 64. There's actually a uh You know that West we did in the first episode? You can actually the original way to do it, the way people used to get into Kakariko, was that they would come over here and they would actually do it off this into the water. I've never been successful in doing it this way. You come up here, do that, and then you do, you do the same thing. You'll slide in the Kakariko. Obviously, this way, you don't save as much time. So you have to walk all the way up here, and it's just taking you this little distance. So when someone discovered the other way, speedrunners were happy because it saved, you know, a lot more time. And it's easier to do, in my opinion, but... Yeah, I've never been successful doing it that one way. So, we're here to get our last five gold school colas. I'm actually going to... We'll show off ISG here. And the same time we do that... Uh, I was going to show it off here, but let's wait. 
So, as you can see, we have Gold Skull Cola. You notice we did a jump attack. A jump attack one-shotted it, okay? Now, just, just keep that in mind. Let me do this. Now, look at this. A crouch stab takes two, okay? Now, here's the thing about this game. Is that this crouch stab actually does the damage of the last move that you did. And the way that I'm going to show you is how that works. So, you notice I slashed. You know, I did a horizontal slash, and then when I did this, it took two. And you notice that one jump slash killed him right off the bat. So if I do a jump slash, and then I... I don't think... We, yeah, there's no way we're going to reach that. If I do a jump slash, and then just crouch stab, he'll die in one hit. You see, look at that. It's not that these things are weaker than the other, it's that the game literally glitches out like that. And it's, you know, it's pretty useful. It's a good way to kill enemies quickly, you know, because look at, I mean, look at how long it takes to do jump slashes, plus you're moving forward, I mean, look at that. But this, we just did like seven jump slash attacks right there, which made it very quick, very efficient, you know, so, I mean, it's a, it's a useful trick and you can use it anywhere, it's super easy to do, because it's, all you're doing is crouch stabbing, really. It's more like an exploit, really, than a glitch. Now, another thing we're going to do here is ISG. Let me store a jump slash. Because ISG is... We got a little glimpse of ISG. Okay, we got it. So you can see how the camera angle is fixed here. This means we have ISG. You can also see that our sword is... It has like a... I don't know what that is. You can just see like a the white line. Like, you know what I'm talking about. With ISG, you can't fall off cliffs. You can backflip off them, side up off them, all that. And um, what ISG is, is basically, ISG stands for Infinite Sword Glitch. And all that it is, it, basically our sword is always slashing, you know? It's forever slashing. And if you don't believe me, look at these pots. Look at that, we just walked over them, destroyed them. So ISG is useful for destroying enemies and bosses. And, uh, you know, it's probably even more... I mean, you can use ISG with the stick, too. This has much bigger range, so you're going to be doing more damage. You know, with this... Not more damage. We'll be doing uh, longer reach damage with your stick. And it, ISG goes away if you slash your sword. Like so. You can see. Fixed camera angle gone. It's gone. And there's a couple other things, but... I uh, kind of didn't want to, like, I should have waited to take away ISG, but it's okay. Basically, to get ISG, all you do is you slash, you crouch that, and at the tip of the slash, you want to try and talk to something. Like, you can use people, you can use the sign like I did. It's very finicky. Not really finicky, it's, it's very precise. Like, you don't really have that many frames to talk to people. And, I mean, it's not hard to do at all. You know, it's just, it takes practice. Sometimes it takes a couple attempts, but it's not hard to do. And, but it's very easy. Now, another thing is, I kind of screwed up by not doing this first. But, I got rid of ISG there. The Deku Stick actually has the same damage value as the Master Sword. So, what a lot of people do is Child Link... They'll jump slash. That's a master sword jump slash. I think that's the most powerful sword attack. I could be wrong, but basically you do one jump slash with that, and anytime you crouch stab with your sword, you're doing master sword damage, like a master sword jump attack damage. Why it's programmed that way, I don't know. I guess they just kind of for... I don't know why, but the Deku stick has the same damage as master sword, so... You can basically... You're, we're basically holding a master sword with these Deku sticks, and that's why they're important. And you can see with ISG, we're able to just walk up on this dude, take him down, and no problems. And I believe that's all of our Skulltolas, correct? That is 10. Alright. And you can see we still have ISG, so... We need this magic bean. We're all, you also need to plant the bean before you go adult. But not planting the bean pretty much severely screws you up. So we'll just uh, go over here and plant the bean before we move forward. Before we move on, so to speak. 
the beans the only use the bean has is to get us to the shadow temple very 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 glitchy but you know and I used to I'll explain it more as we're doing the glitch and you can see what I'm talking about but I used to hate trying to enter the shadow temple it used to take me like an hour just to enter the shadow temple but now it's not nearly as bad. I found out a little trick that helps with entering it, so it's not nearly as bad anymore. It still can suck, but not near. Like before, it took, like I said, an hour. Now maybe 20 minutes, you know, is probably max. Uh, probably an average of like 10 to 15. Because, it, like, it's a huge improvement. So once you have the Skulltolas, if you play regular game, you know, this is the Curse Family. For every 10 you get, they give you a item, you know. The only reason we got our 10 skull tolls is for the 200 rupees. Now it's important that you farm up the 200 rupees before we go forward. Basically the last two things we have to do in prep is farm up the 200 rupees and then get our last bottle. And again we don't need the bottle but you know. Oh you know what while we're here I almost forgot. We'll show off ocarina items. That's the name of the glitch by the way ocarina items. It's um, it's the one where you play the ocarina without having an ocarina. So basically what you need, you need like a fish, bugs, something you can catch in a bottle. Bugs are, bugs and fish are the two best. I don't know if you can actually use anything else you might. But basically, you catch something in your bottle, and you can see how our bottle is like really blue. What you do is, very quickly, I'm not going to do it this time, but I'll show you. You backflip, in the middle of your backflip you hit your bottle and then you spam whatever you're gonna play so for instance i'll hit b and we'll be playing our sword in his ocarina so let me show this off back clip and look we're basically playing our sword now as an ocarina and you can play actual songs you know it will work with songs that you already know and so you don't really need an ocarina but again you can see it takes up the bottle and the other thing is Anytime you play it, you have to, it basically gets rid of like your blue bottle status. So this is why bugs and fish are best, because you can just drop them, pick one back up, and there you go, you're ready to go again. And you can do it with most items. Some items you can't, but I believe you can do it with like the, you can do it with the Deku Nut, you can do it with the Boomerang. Like there's a lot you can do it with. Obviously you have to have the bottle out. Let me pull that back out. I uh, kind of screwed up on that one. I don't think we still have, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think we still have, a uh, the blue items glitch. You know, I should be doing this outside, where it'll be turning to daytime, but nighttime doesn't last that long anyway, so it's okay. So, same thing, we're just going to, in the middle of our backflip, hit the bottle button once, and then I like to spam the button of what you're trying to play, but I don't think you have to spam it, I just do it. I don't know, safety, I don't know, but, and look at that, now we're playing the stick, and same thing, hold up, and look, same thing, you can play, you can play your stick as an ocarina, so, you never really need an ocarina, it's just, like I said, we don't like wasting the bottle, you know, if you don't care about no game overs, if you don't care about you know, only running through on three hearts, then by... Is the owl there? No. Then by all means, I welcome you to skip the fairy ocarina and just use a bottle the whole time. Now, it's a shame that we get bombs so late in the game because bombs are actually useful for super sliding, which is the fastest method of travel, I believe. Or, it's not faster, I think hyper extended super sliding, which is basically the same thing, it just lets you move, is uh, faster, but only because it lets you move and you don't have to reset up the glitch. But, we'll go ahead and wait here, we're here for the bottle, and then we'll be going to, we're going right there to the castle gates to farm our 200 rupees, because we can get easily, you know, 40 rupees off one jump. Come on. And I believe that's the best spot to farm rupees as a kid. I mean, it's very quick. And to respawn them. 
All you have to do is go into the castle, not the castle, but go into the market and then come right back out. Not even the market, but just change the screen and then come back out. I don't think, yeah, just some rupees. That's whatever. Now a lot of mini game, it's not hard. Basically what this is, is we're looking for his three special cuckoos, the three that he has right here, one in front of him that we can't see because Link's in the way, and the two up top. They all fly to the exact same direction. Or, and every time you play the game, they fly to the same spot, and then they'll just move around. So if you know their basic spots, very easily you can find all three. The first two, I can usually find in the first try, like the first Coco grab. Maybe two or three, but, you know, the second one's probably more around two or three average. First one's around one. The last one's probably like a three average or something. Like, it's really not hard. They basically just fly to the three corners. Like, you can see, there's one. He flew into this corner, and this one flew into this corner. Now this last one, he flies over here, and he can sometimes hide back here, but he's usually one of the back ones in this corner. Like, it's a very easy game once you know where they are and what exactly you're doing. You know, it's it's not exactly uh, hard, it's not exactly rocket science or anything, so... This bottle he gives us, gives us, uh, that was a very odd way to say that sentence, but. We have Lon Lon Milk. This is actually useful in preserving the no game overrun, because we have to do some very, it's, it, it's not hard for me anymore, but it still can be kind of, it, it's still easy to mess up. I don't mess it up nearly as much as I used to, but. If you're going for a no game overrun, keep that milk. It's really going to help. And it's going to help very, very shortly. Pretty much, it'll be the next thing after we get these rupees here. So we just need the 200 rupees so that we can buy buy some bomb chews as we're crossing the desert to get to the spirit temple. So, we're just going to climb up here. Go ahead and take our 40 rupees. And I could have got 60 there, but whatever. I mean, you could, if you wanted to, climb up the other chain and jump off for the other 20. But it's just quicker to... You know, you're already down here. It's just quicker to come in, come out, and then get 40 on a jump, you know? At least, I would assume so. I mean, climbing up there... I mean, yeah. Yeah, I would assume this is faster to get 40 instead of climbing back up. Now, if you only needed 20 rupees or less, then I could see climbing up, going over and climbing up. I mean, that would make sense. But, otherwise, you know, I don't really see why you would need to do such a thing. But, that is it for our prep, I believe. Let me just make a checklist here. We have our three bottles. We planted the bean, fairy ocarina. We have five Deku sticks. The Deku nuts aren't important. We have Deku shield. Oh, you know what? There's actually, uh... Well, it's not necessary. I would, uh... You know what? You know what? Never mind, never mind. Let's go. I, uh, kind of messed up in that... I for... You know what? Oh, I'm lost here. When you're in Kakariko Graveyard, um... You know, fudge. You know what? I have to wait for nighttime anyways, so it's whatever. We're waiting for nighttime now. I, uh, I forgot. I messed up. This is, this is my bad. When you're in Kakariko at night, the first time, go in and make sure that you grab the, see, this is, again, the three months, three plus months, I should say, rust kicking in to where I forgot, but go grab the Hillian Shield. You do not need it, but it will be very important, because as you know, in the Shadow Temple, not Shadow, in the Spirit Temple, there are the fire keys, and if they burn your shield, you're gonna be in trouble because you'll have to well i guess you uh, never mind you wouldn't be in that much trouble it's just you'd be wasting time in rupees so i don't know i guess it's not necessary but i'd recommend just picking it up anyways i mean you're already there if you do it unlike i did where you are not wasting time waiting for night and all this jazz then you'll be fine i'm just practicing wow you have to be quick on it but if you're too quick all right, we'll give it one more try and then head into Kakariko. I was gonna, why don't you know, I was gonna end the episode after they're at the prep, but when we did our checklist, I forgot that that shield could be important. Hey, look at that!
Oh, I let it go. I was hoping to get the Kakariko. That's the first time I've ever done of that off of that ledge there. I've never successfully even gotten one going, so hey, look at that. Hoping to hold it into the village, but I just choked. It's okay, though. I got my first one during the LP. That's, that's kind of cool. It was the last attempt, too. We're like, alright, we, we, we doing this and we done. We don't need these bugs. I don't know why I'm keeping them. You know what? We don't need them. Bye. I was just looking. I'm like, we don't need them. Because we're going to be getting fairies kind of soon, depending on how fast I can do this next glitch. It's not really a glitch, either. This one's an exploit as well, so... But yeah, like I said, when you're here planting the bean at night, or when you're in the town getting gold skull tolls at night, you can plant the bean at any time. I just do it at night, because you can come in here and grab this as well, and you don't have to enter the screen twice, but... Yippee! You could also just go into the bazaar and pay 80 rupees for one, because, you know, whatever, but... I decided we'll show off where to get it for free. Why pay the 80 rupees when we don't have to, right? Am I right? Uh -huh. But I think with that, what we'll do here is... What do I want to do? Mm, okay, I know what we'll do. I think we'll go ahead and end this episode right outside Kakariko here. And next time, we will try and cross the desert. We'll be doing a very skip that is called the Cucko Jump. I am not a fan of it. Sometimes it's nice to me, sometimes it's not. So, we'll see. Now, to skip the owl, this is the way you want to do it. You might have talked to him there. I might have been too close when I jumped down, but that's basically how it goes. But, you know, eat what you have. Am I wrong? my right ladies no i'm just kidding i'm just kidding so i think right here our next stop will be gerudo valley we good next stop gerudo valley i will go ahead see you guys in the next part for the infamous cuckoo jump and then crossing the desert which could very well be an entire episode on its own so we will just have to see how that goes that is it for me though i'll go ahead and see you guys next time peeps out